It's another day and Hadzeb tribe have just made it again with two big dick dicks the dwarf antelopes found on the dry savanna of Africa. When Hadzeb tribe men go to hunt the women are left behind to take care of their huts and also gather tubas and fruits to cook in the evening when the men return with wild meat. The hunters move in small groups of around 5 to 10 people and can move up to 15 kilometers in search of wild animals to hunt and rivers to drink water. They love hunting birds in the bushes as they move deeper into the mountains and valleys to look for bigger animals to feed the whole families. They are nomadic hunter-gatherers and therefore move from place to place according to seasons of the year and as you can see they just came up a hut where they had lived the previous season. Oh, <laughs> 
They just shot two dick dicks and now they are following blood prints to see where they have landed to so that they can remove the poison arrows. They skin the animal using their arrows and lit fire by rubbing two sticks together using their hands and finally roast their meat around fire using sticks stuck to the ground around the fire like a barbecue. 
I am going to blur this part to avoid community guidelines strike from YouTube since there is a lot of blood here. They normally eat some parts of the guts raw like the liver, kidney, intestines, and lungs, but roast tough parts of the animal like the meat and carry the remaining meat home. After roasting the meat they eat it without salt and love smoking after eating the meat.
I know you are still watching this video because you love to see traditional survival methods, so kindly subscribe to this channel and like this video so that we can bring you more content like this. After a long day of shooting they decided to give us a huge chunk of meat and to my surprise the meat was sweet and tender despite having no pinch of salt. Now it's time to go home to take the rest of the meat home to their wives and kids.
I hope creation of this video will not lead to erosion of this beautiful culture that has been passed from one generation to another for the longest period of time despite the modern day civilization. Kindly watch part 2 of this video to see what happens when the Hadzeb hunters take the remaining meat home and see how the women cook it and how they eat.